Okay, so here we are on the first page of WP Spy. Now on the site inf info tab, you can pull out information about what the site was actually built with. The robots.txt, the sitemap, you can pull up the source code to the site. Look up the site on a Whois database. You can also see the DNS servers that the site is hosted on. You can see reports back from McAfee, Norton's, the Web of Trust, and Securi, so you can have a good idea of whether the site is actually secure or not. You can also get the site's IP address, where it's situated, and the country in which it's situated. On the WordPress data, we'll pull back information about the WordPress version being used. This is being spoofed on mine. I'm actually running version 4 upwards of WordPress. But that's really just to uh, make things a little bit trickier for hackers. You can also see on this site I'm using a plugin called WP Cart for Digital Products and WP eMember and Optimize Press. If these were free plugins or themes, then you'd be able to download them immediately from within the um, page here. But as they're not, you can find out where they actually come from by clicking on the view icon, and it will open up the web page with that particular product on it. If we have a look at the page info page. OK, looking at the page info tab, You'll see that it pulls back information about the actual front page itself. As in here, you can see the URL, the canonical URL, the title, meta keywords and meta description if they're included, the amount of external and internal links, whether there's any H1 or H2 tags, and the same for whether the the text has been made bold, strong, if it's been italicized, and the character count down the bottom here. OK, that covers the page info. If we look at the SEO stats, just click on that tab. OK, under the SEO stats, we can see what the Alexa traffic rank is, the Quantcast traffic rank, if we've got any, the Google page rank. We can see how the site looked in the past on the web archive. We can see the cached version on Google. We can see the Alexa backlinks, any backlinks on Google. Open Site Explorer, we can pull back data there. Sogu and Ahrefs too. We can also see the pages that are indexed and the engines where those pages have been indexed. If we move over to social stats. OK, so here we get a social overview. We can see how many Facebook shares there are, plus any data coming back from these other networks here. Gives us a really quick overview, pretty kind of cool. We can also look into the social metrics of the site. So if there's any mentions, it'll pull up YouTube videos, all manner of information about the site from a social angle. Very useful, very good overview there. If we go onto the traffic tab, here we can pull back information from Alexa, showing the bounce rate of the site, the amount of page views, the daily time on site. If I was in the top 100,000, then the information about my traffic would be being displayed here. But as I'm not, I'm sitting around about 5 million at the moment. So, uh, as you can see, quite a bit of work needs to be done on this site. If we have a look at links. You can see all of the actual links on the page here. OK, so on the links page here, you can see all of the links on the actual front page of the site. It'll pick up any images on the page, and just by putting your mouse over the image, it'll bring up a pretty cool little light box. I quite like that feature a lot. Clicking over here will actually do searches for your site within the engines that are listed there. Okay, so on the graphs page, 
you've got access to a load of different features here the Alexa rank, page rank, Quantcast rank, Alexa backlinks, Google backlinks, a bounce rate. So here you can compare your site to another site that might be doing better than yours and you can get an idea of how you could possibly optimize your own site to take advantage of the traffic and SEO that they've been using. I've also got a tutorials tab here. This has not been populated yet, but this will show how to use the software. Instantly accessible from the menu, so it makes things nice and easy for your users. And also for support. So I'd say we've made it pretty easy there for our users. 